All right, guys. Thank you for joining me and Rico. Oh, I'm over here. Rico, uh, for the Crafted Show. James may come over and try to work it out. Um, Skipper is sick tonight. Oh, let me get my chat up. Oh, my gosh. Where is the chat? There it is. And uh, we Shelby was going to be our special guest, but she may have slept in. Maybe I should have been more uh, on what day. Maybe she just thought I was asking in general. <laughs> maybe is Grant. I thought she mentioned it, though. So maybe is Grant in here? I haven't seen Grant yet. And maybe I misunderstood, too. She might have been talking about uh, somebody was coming to visit and they, she was going to sleep in and wasn't going to be. So I could have been, you know, getting yeah. two conversations across there. Ooh, super chat right out of the box. Ricky DeHoyas, my buddy Ricky. Uh, I want to snail it at least once. Awesome. Thank you uh, so much, Ricky. You're uh, awesome. Ed, do you mind? Oh. There we go. Some Shelby. Hey, Shelby. I cannot hear anything. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's totally we can cool. hear you. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, what blah, blah. were you going to ask? J uh, oh. I almost called you do you, do you mind if I put the uh, Discord? Because in the last stream, we talked about the Discord server, and a lot of people that watch James were not aware of it. Do you mind if I put the invite in the in the chat? Oh, I don't care at all. Whatsoever. I just want to make sure. Or mine. No, I don't want to do it. I don't you. care. I should say I don't mind. So that I just dropped it in the chat, and there is uh, that's the Discord server again. If you are, can you hear us now? Can you hear us now, Shelby? Yeah. Okay. One second. Oh, yeah. um, if uh, if you are a member on my channel or James or Stephen P, uh, you want to sync your YouTube account with your discord account if you do that you get access to any any channels any youtube channels that have members only sections that you're a member of just do it one time and it gives you access to all of them because i know other people i think bentley maybe pasco maybe has them um there's other people out there though that have members only sections so do it once and you get access to all of them okay hi awesome. shelby hi. thanks ed <laughs> Well, and everybody, I'm sure, knows who Shelby is. She is an amazing scaper. I mean, she, you're in probably the top 10 in America, probably, aren't you? No. <laughs> Thank you, though. Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> She's just being nice. Trust me, guys. I have I think I've probably met a majority of the big-name scapers out there. And Shelby and Grant's scapes are amazing, you guys. I Thank mean, you. but I concur. they're so awesome. And that's not even talking about your awesome fish. Your shrimp are just amazing. Oh, well, the shrimp and the fish, everything's amazing. I've got some of their shrimps. Oh. Here, let's right put you on here. the big screen. Let's put you on the big screen. I've got a I've got a snail trap in there right now. I use a champagne glass and uh some uh green beans to catch my snails. But I mean, look at those guys. They're swimming all over the joint. I love those guys so much. Okay. I have some of those Wait. exact ones as well in this little five gallon right over here next to me. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I got some of their, their beautiful blue ones up there, but it's too hard for me to stretch the cable that far. <laughs> but uh, Shelby's also like, huh? not only is she good at, at scaping, and she, oh, I love your, your nature scapes. Have you seen any of those lately, Rico? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Maybe. Oh, you mean like the, what, what do you mean? She goes out to the swamp oh, in the Everglades. Uh, yes. And yes, yes. Puts, and it's not the Everglades, but it's just somewhere awesome, I'm sure. But. I do, I do see is, those. Is it I the do. Everglades? Yeah, it's close to the house. No, we're, uh, um, I would say about six hours north. I believe. Five or six, I, yeah. You guys are kind of in the armpit, aren't you? Not no, that we're in the uh, yeah, like near Tampa. Yes. Okay, I we're like just right won. North Tampa. That's awesome. Well, I won a uh, fifty. Well, actually, Hecklefish did it for me. I'm not allowed to win anything, and Hecklefish 
won a $50 gift certificate to the fish consolidation farms. Is that or the consolidated fish farms? You got it. Yeah, the second one. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and that's like real close to Tampa, too. So I thought maybe when Steve-O and I go down to visit you guys, we could go to the fish store, too, and I'll just pick up the fish. If they let me do that. Yeah. I don't know if they do. Yeah, it's a big farm. It's really cool. Do they let anybody walk there? Um, like, check it out? I don't know if they're... Grant. Uh, consolidated Fish Farm. Do they just let anyone in? Or you got a <laughs> call? <laughs> Are, they have a they have a retail store. They have a they store. Farm. Yeah, so oh. the farm would probably be something you'd have to like schedule. But I I don't know gotcha. these things because we just end up getting invited to everywhere. So yeah, <laughs> we just luck out. <laughs> well, I'm sure if Chattanooga Ed just showed up, they'd be like, <laughs> yeah, right. you know, exactly. like just invite them in. You know, uh, yeah, they're at quick. Aquashella sometimes. Let me let me interrupt you guys real quick. I I saw Pega's sister Rena. Uh, I saw I see some new people joining the the Discord server. Uh, real quick, I just want to say you you have to post uh, something. You've only got access to new member verification. As soon as your account is verified in there, just post something. Just say hi, and as soon as we make sure you're a real person, we know who you are. Then you'll have access to all the rest of it. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I just saw people getting on the uh, the Discord server. I didn't want to uh, have anybody confused there. Okay, sorry. It's totally cool. Well, but Shelby also is like a very crafty person that knows how to make things. Lots and so stuff. we thought maybe we would do a shrimp off tonight and she's going to make a shrimp and I'm going to attempt to make a shrimp. <laughs> and uh, we'll let you guys vote on who made the best shrimp at the end or you <laughs> or she could just give me tips on how to do a better job. <laughs> it's not hard and but, I'm not like a perf perfect person with it but I've made little tiny models. I forgot to grab that. I have it down off the wall right now, too. It's usually up on the wall. I made it for Grant for Father's Day one year. And it's like all these little miniature shrimp in a like a shadow box. So I'll get up and get it in a minute. Oh, nice. I don't That's think I've awesome. seen that before. Uh, it's it's looking... posted, but it was like posted years ago on his page. We don't really talk about it. I was planning on making a lot of them and selling them at the shows, but... It takes me so long to craft the shrimp yeah. by themselves because I make tiny ones. So gotcha. It would just be they'd be to, to to make it worth your time, you'd have to charge a ton for them. Yeah. It, well, I would I think that we were trying to figure out a way to get the shrimp made and manufactured um, so that it wouldn't be a problem and then I can just piece them all together. That's the part that took me the longest, but like I like to make it into um, a diorama, it'd be cool. Gotcha. I, I've, I've been playing with the same okay. like things, like trying to figure out what to do, like how to make different things, but make it also be worth the time to do it. And I find that crustaceans take a really long time because of all their legs. Yeah, they got little bitty parts moving. Sorry, the, the <laughs> lid is not on, so I don't want to drop it. That's why we kept doing is dropping it. So some of the shrimp broke inside. That's all right. I'm uh, going to move my camera back. Nico just moved. Oh, no. My lights are falling. <laughs> and real quick, Skipper, uh, hopefully you feel better, man. Hopefully you feel better. We'll, we miss you up here, better. though. We miss you, buddy. Yeah, Skipper's been Is sick all wrong week. with my Skippy Dippy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. It's, it's, oh, the light's causing a oh. glare. Can you make it really big, Rico? Oh, yep. Sorry. You're good. Do you need anything else? No. See, it's got oh, little awesome. tiny shrimp everywhere and the rock come out. That's amazing. And some that of them are amazing. broken, but you can lift the lid off and open it up. That's just the panel. I can't believe how well it held up. It's a little dusty. It's been on the now, wall forever. How, now, how old is this? How old is this? In like five years. Yeah. Wait, show, I'm sorry. Show it one more time. I want to see the shrimp. Are those post. blue bolts? Uh, these are tigers. Blue tigers. Oh, orange especially, eyes. Especially that Some left of them one. Are broken. The one on our left down in the bottom. So the other <laughs> side, the real dark one, that is awesome looking. They all yeah. look awesome, though. Good job. And they're crawling on a dragon stone? Yep. 
Very cool. And sand. I got it all dirty, and I was like, this is a little difficult. <laughs> like getting it all to stay upwards like this was kind of hard, but yeah, and then I, I kind of dropped some, so like this one's missing its little antennas down here. <laughs> and this one's missing one. Yeah. Poor little guy. Still looks great, though. It looks everywhere. amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Looks amazing. Okay, uh, so are we so are we trying like tell me what size are we going to go with because like i've got different size leg wire for um my shrimps that i'm so gonna you guys to you guys are going to build the same type of shrimp like what what's well explain oh, again what's I've, going on i'm sorry <laughs> i've got like this will probably be for a an inch and a half to two inch shrimp and this is going to be what I'll use for less than an inch shrimp. Like a oh, a are real you making the out of wire? The legs I'm going to do wire. That's a great idea. That's what I was thinking to do one day because it would make the structure stay. The clay does not stay. Like you bake it and they just crack off. Like it is so yeah. annoying to paint well, them. See, I like, try to super glue it back together. <laughs> like this was my antennas for my. Uh, go shrimp but they yeah. wouldn't stay on and this is clay that i made and painted yeah and so i was like i gotta get a different way to do it so i was gonna make like a leg chassis and i was That's gonna right. make all their little bent legs and then glue them together and then build it around the legs oh real quick That's sorry to good. interrupt again but 102 people watching oh wow, oh, wow. that's awesome <laughs> oh wow <coughs> no pressure no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. And Ed, uh, Jerry's Fish Room said that Consolidated Fish Farms is his sponsor. Just call Dan. He's pretty easy to work with. Oh, that's awesome, Jerry. That's super cool. So you'll forget that. Now, now, where does Jerry live? Does he live in Florida, too? Must be, yeah. Oh, yeah, he does, because cool. he helps uh, Blind Fish Keeper. Uh, I forgot his name. What's his first name? Uh, oh, he helps well, him, though. Jerry does. What? Well, the blind fish keeper, oh gosh, what is, it's not Matt. Oh my gosh. Well, he's from Memphis, Tennessee. But he lives in Florida now, right? Brandon. No, I didn't Brandon. realize that. Brandon. Thanks, people. I didn't realize he moved. I could, I could be wrong. I thought he was in uh, Florida as well. Well, every time I've met him, he's been in Florida. <laughs> so. There you go. Okay. Okay. So wait. This three wait. One more time, though. What's so? What's the plan tonight? You both are building the same type of shrimp, or just something shrimpy, or what's? Yeah, Probably we're gonna both. Shrimp. I don't have cool wire. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not prepared for this. Yeah. Look, he's got two different colors too. Shall we? Two different colors. What? Three different colors. Three different colors. <laughs> so <laughs> if we do it, a yellow shrimp. I went with gold. I've got blue shrimps, red shrimps. And then I also have <laughs> black and red. Now, I also have upstairs, I didn't bring it down. And I have blue, but I must have dropped it on the floor. Or Nico grabbed it because Nico loves wires. <laughs> um, I have telephone wires. And I don't know if you've ever hooked up an old-fashioned telephone, but they have really thin wires, but they're pretty neat because they've got, like, red and white striped. Yeah. And I thought it would be so awesome. But... I just didn't That's want to peel idea. it and then not use it. That's a great idea, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, so and you see that's... all the ideas. Thank you, one already. Awesome. <laughs> they don't. Uh, they no don't call way. it craft ed for no reason. You know, it's uh, the show is called craft ed. Right. <laughs> Need your craft room here. I only got a little box now. Like I have <laughs> try to confine my crafts because they'll just get out of hand, and I'll just have them everywhere. So I try to confine them, but the box is overfilling, and then I gotta <laughs> figure a way to solve that. <laughs> yeah, that's that was I like I lose most of my crafts for the longest time. I I lose every piece I have. So once I moved into this, I mean it's basically a glorified closet. It's probably seven feet this way, and then it's like I can touch from here to here. So it's probably five and a half feet or something from here to here. But it works great for holding all my crafts and stuff in. Oh, yeah. And I'm not going to ever heat these tanks because these will be my shrimp tanks. 
So, yep, or a couple of them. Don't need <laughs> Dr. Awesome is it, taking off. He's too hot and peru. He said he oh. zapped the energy out of him. Oh, oh my man. gosh. Well, Dr. Dr. Anthony, if you're still there, I haven't used that gift card that I got from you last year, but I've talked to Keith a couple of times and I'm planning to use it. I was originally waiting for him to get a particular plant in for this tank, but he never got it in. So now I'm going to do it for the next tank I'm going to scape. I'm going to be ordering some uh, plants from him for that. And I'm just, that tank, I'm going to just order whatever plants he has. I'm not going to be picky. This one I had to be picky with. But Dr. Awesome, you're awesome. And we're going to see if we can have Dr. Awesome as one of our guests while uh, James is away. Okay. Yep. Sorry. So what <laughs> color did you want to go with, Shelby? Um, well, mine's just going to be white because that's all the clay I got right now. Um, I did not prepare for this at all. I've been working. <laughs> I did not prepare. But I got my, my little clay. and But I do have something that I've been wanting to do. I have this little box we bought at Hobby Lobby. And originally it was to take photos of the shrimp. And then we <laughs> didn't think about it, but we get home and it's got, now I can't figure out how to open it. I just did it like six times so I wouldn't embarrass myself. <laughs> like this. Well, wait, 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 let's do this too. So while you're embarrassing yourself, we can put you on the big screen. <laughs> oh, there she so goes. It, so it opens. We didn't uh, think about that, but I was like, you know what? I'll just, I'll use it as a craft. I'll take it home. It was like a dollar. So I was super excited. So. But I'm hoping to use this and uh, like some stones down at the bottom and then like one shrimp in there and just have like a little shrimp display for someone to probably just give out. Nice. Okay. So now I see you've got me there. I wish I would have uh, thought about a fish tank because that's kind of like that's what they call them when you get a toy display or something and it's in yeah. its package. They call it the it's in its in a fish tank. So basically, that was brilliant. Uh, or a fish box, maybe is what they call it. Yeah. But uh, huh, let's see what I got. A whole bunch of people. Ed, you're up to 109 people. Hello, everybody. We didn't say oh, hi's awesome, today. Uh, we sort of jumped oh, into I'm it really so quick. But uh, <laughs> hi, low, hi, low, everybody. I hope everybody's uh, having a good holiday week. Um, remember, there's still giveaways going on for Fish Fam Christmas. We still we're going through New Year's Day. So. Pay attention, watch all the rest of them, and uh, hopefully you win something. <laughs> what are you looking for, Ed? Uh, something like for, a tank? <laughs> uh, yeah, a, a box. Because I was like, okay, well, I got my my uh, test kit here. It kind of looks like a tank if I took everything out. Holy. But then I don't have anything to put my things in. <laughs> so uh, Mr. Alexander, Alexander Englehart just came in and dropped 50 Chattanooga Ed memberships. Oh wow. my gosh! As he is wont okay. to do, <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out something special to do. If if everybody grabs those, I'll try to figure out something special to do just for the the membership. But wow, well, it'd I, be nice for Mister really, Eaglehart too. Something nice for him. Oh he, my gosh! I, I owe yeah. him. I'm supposed to give him a, a completed song, but it's never gonna happen. So I'll make you make something for him. It'll be from both of us. I'll just attach my name That's to cool. it. <laughs> and That's real quick, cool. also, uh, Rena wanted you to know that she's probably going to get in trouble for it, but she had to become a member to your favorite, to her favorite red bearded fish keeper. Oh, well, thank you so much. It's too bad you didn't wait two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like, I, I mean, I don't, know, I don't know how many, I'm not going to count them, but it looks like a big chunk of those were picked up. Um, oh, that's awesome. And, and they're still coming in. They're still being picked up. So uh, Alexander, does wow. that Alexander, so many crazy. channels, just an amazing amount. And he has shown so much support for so many different channels that we just can't thank you enough for what you've done for our community. And I would say this shrimp thing that we're making, we would give to him, but I don't want to do that because I don't want people to try to buy my crafts on the gotcha. show. Gotcha. Makes sense. So, Makes sense. so, but I would love to do that, but I just, I don't want people to feel obligated to give me anything. And I originally made the memberships because my cat, Nico, who's right here, he's allergic to fleas. And so the goal was to, my flea 
medicine is six hundred dollars a year. So I was the goal was to get six hundred dollars worth of memberships to pay for the flea medicine, and that's why it's called the Nico Club. <laughs> I know it's probably dorky, but if and then whatever else I get, you know, we'll do in crafts and stuff. Man, uh, this is driving me crazy not having a glass thing. Well, Jenny Jenny came in and she said, do you have a clear goblet to put the shrimp in? Maybe a clear goblet of some sort. And hey, everybody, uh, Ed yeah, like can't really see, see chat too well. So if you have questions for chat, do the at Rico stand. It'll pop out for me and I can feed those over to, uh, to Ed. And Ed, before you get going, Killer Kitty, like she always does, brought, came in with a $5 super chat with your favorite fox cat. Yes, I know it's not oh. a fox cat. <laughs> well, it's a fox cat in my book because I like cats. You know what? Can you guys chat for a moment while no. I run into my bedroom and look for a clear thing of some sort? I don't want to talk to her. I, I'm always buying clear things. There's, so I've got to have something. Okay. Hi, I'll be right back. Hi. <laughs> it seems like we just had a conversation. I know. Pretty well, nice that was actually, today, right? that was Monday. Jesus. Yeah. That was, yeah. that was Monday. It's already Thursday. That's just, this week is going by so quick. So yeah, how yeah. how's things? How's uh, I saw Grant move around, so he's still alive. You haven't killed him yet. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, he's um in playing Need for Speed. Uh, probably not even paying attention. The uh, newest one? No, just one in between. Gotcha. He beat the okay. other one, and then was like, "Oh, we don't really have time for video games. It's very rare that he gets to." So yeah, it was, he just wanted it. So that's where he's going. Are you? Uh, are you guys have plans for New Year's Eve? Are you going to do anything? Are you just? Are you going to stay up to midnight even? Are you going to go to bed early? Is it just another day? We always stay up till midnight. That's a given. Um, usually we go get Roman candles, and then me and Grant have a battle with them and uh, <laughs> down the road. You know. Yeah. Uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting. Usually the yeah. neighbors come out and watch us. So <laughs> we did it in front of my uh, parents um, a while ago. Oh, nice. And they didn't like that, so we won't do that again. <laughs> well, hopefully you don't get a big knot on your head this time from it. <laughs> no, I did get um, one of our jackets. Like um, it went through the jacket, and I was, you know, a little under the um, influence, and I stopped, dropped, and rolled. <laughs> I yelled it too, like I was like, "Stop, drop, and roll!" And Grant's like, "What's wrong did with you?" You catch on fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little bit. Uh, the jacket, I still have it to prove. <laughs> nice. It didn't I, love hurt, how though, much, so. I love how much fun you guys have. It does remind me of me and uh, my, my wife, Michelle, a long yeah, time yeah. ago, though. Very long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't know so, how much longer we can pull these shenanigans on each other. Yeah. Can't do it like I did uh, a couple years ago. He was on the roof taking Christmas lights on. He just, he had to get them done, Chris, you know. New Year's Eve. So he gets on the roof and I was like, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm warning you. Don't do that. So he gets on there and I'm so mad. I'm across the street with the neighbors. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get him back for doing something. I told him not to do it. And I just take the Roman candle and I'm great. Oh my gosh, show me, show me, show me. It's a sparkle. Oh. Take that. <laughs> All right. Now let me look up and I thought she was on fire on. again. Two Roman candles. One for you, one for me. You're too it's much. time. In the house? Yes. Yeah, let's go. There's plenty of tanks oh to put gosh. out the fire. Do it. Oh, do, it. do it. Oh, oh my gosh. On the couch, too. <laughs> too uh, uh, Ed, you got a super chat from uh, from our buddy Whip. $5 for Mr. Ed and $2 oh, for the amazing Miss Shelby. Rico, I'll get you if you ever do another live stream. And um, <laughs> Joe Coffee so wants much, to know if you man. lost your glasses again. <laughs> Oh, do I have two sets? Oh, no. Nope. You're good. Just the one. What in the I, actual, I, Steven says. <laughs> I need a, a clear thing. This now, is what I keep Ed, all my TV remotes in. So it's so heavy. Oh, is your um, wire heat resistant? Mm. Does it? Are you going to plan on putting this around a sparkler? No, I... <laughs> So um, one of the things I actually make with the shrimp, I've only uh, made like five or six of them and only a few select people have them. I make shrimp candles. So you go to Hobby oh. Lobby and they have clear gel and just like the old candles back in the day, you'd put seashells in. I do that with the shrimp. And that was my biggest flaw is getting the paint to stay on the shrimp and not burn off when I put the candle in. So a couple of the candles got ruined. Some of them were okay. Like I had these really cool red cherry candles. Um, I did watermelon ones and 
my parents use the whole thing already. <laughs> and then someone else has it, awesome. like a little tiny bubble one that they've had for like 10 years now in their, their fish room. So you could do that with that container because that's thick enough glass that it could be a candle. You're right. Wow. Well, you know. let, me go, let me go get some. Yeah, I've got matches in the other room if you want me to light it. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Ed's getting his exercise. That's Ed's getting so his exercise. Um, let's see what else is going on in the chat here. Uh, Scotty the Fish Freak says, as a firefighter, I do not approve of this. Back to, you know, when you guys were getting ready to <laughs> do this. Oh, my God, that's horrifying. I, too, like to live dangerously, Silver nice. Creek says. <laughs> Patty said, Floridians. <laughs> and, and Select Pet said, the news articles always nice. start off with Florida man. <laughs> always, always. There's a lot of Florida women, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Audric says, Shelby, stop giving Ed ideas. He's never going to get anything done here. <laughs> and Rena well, said. It turns it black. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's, so it's just a not. coating. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, but you know what? Let's wipe it off and see what happens. I have big sticks. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> Rena said, uh, please tell Shelby I make homemade candles too. Also, soaps and lip balm. Oh, nice. She does. She made me some soaps and they're am they were amazing, but I've used them since. I, I'm going to have to get some of those. To. <laughs> no, it's soap. You're supposed to use it. I know, but sometimes uh, I feel bad using people's. My my niece made me soaps too, and I was all excited because she put like X wings and the Millennium Falcon in there, <laughs> and I was like, I want to use this so I can get the toy out of it. <laughs> the the X wing and the Millennium Falcon were soap also. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want so to. All either. I did was ruin it. I uh, yeah. My daughter okay, so bought me some for Christmas. It was called a big ass block of soap. I can't remember the brand, but uh, <laughs> it smelled really good. She had like a leaf and leather, which smelled really good, and then a pine one. And they're, these blocks of soap are huge and very heavy because I'm always looking at. I love. I I'm going to say it. I absolutely love scented soaps and stuff. I just I'm always buying, even the no patchouli stuff. I mean, look at me. Don't I look like patchouli? Like what? walking patchouli? Yeah. So I like the patchouli stuff even. Grant likes the fancy, the fancy soaps, stuff. too. <laughs> oh, I, I only I, use the fancy stuff when I run out of the other stuff. And I love lava soap. Oh, yeah, I do, too. I do, too. I always feel cleaner with that. Well, I like how the sand is in there, that grit. Yeah. Because it really gets the stuff off your fingers. And other parts. Okay. I don't have much grit in the other parts of my body. I'll just leave it like that. Uh I like to live. Sorry, Shelby. <laughs> okay. Oh, and you know what? I haven't fed my shrimp today, so I'm going to feed them some of this stuff because oh, they oh, love yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Growth in me. Yep. That one's good. And uh, Joe Coffee got it. Yep. Duke Cannon Supply Company. You got it, man. That's it, Joe Coffee. Big ass brick of soap. Got two <laughs> of them. Got two of them. Hi, Nico. I wish and you could hear us. He wants oh. to eat. He thinks he thinks they're treats that I'm opening up because yeah. they like smell a, that good. A Ziploc. Oh, and they but wouldn't be bad around. for him. Hey, don't show your butt. <laughs> Probably enjoy them, honestly. Yeah, I have the shrimp envy, or no, I have the soy ahoy. That's what I have. It's That's right here somewhere. Good. It's right by me, Never but I have so bad. much. I have so much stuff on my desk. I don't know where it's at. I just used it, so it's got to be here somewhere because I have my two of my shrimp tanks right here. See, every time I make a shrimp, I, it looks like a whale. <laughs> I bought two different color beads for their eyeballs. So if they're blind, they get the yellow orange. And oh. if they're normal, they get black. No. And the, the wire will go right in the hole of the bead. All and right, Grant's got to take off. me to the store right now. Let's go. They're 50% <laughs> off this around. week. <laughs> so I bought Very two good. for $3. That, you know, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you should do a road trip maybe. Uh, to wherever hobby, whatever you know, place hobby, you go hobby. to buy your stuff, yeah, whatever. And uh, you could be on the show and you guys could talk about the different stuff. Oh, that would be a good idea. Lefty, See, my hello, other lefty. idea was colored clay so that I didn't have to paint it. 
because that was like our main issue is the paint. It's like I did green, um, green emerald shrimp, which are really beautiful with a yellow golden back line. And the um, green and yellow just milked up the candle. And I was like, no. Oh. Have a good Feel night. Feel better, dude. Well, Feel better. Who's, who's sick? Uh, Skipper. Skipper. Oh, poor Skip. He's taking some meds. That's why, remember, you knew he was sick. He, that's why he couldn't make it up. We talked about this. Yeah, I, but, but, I, but I thought You're maybe it was somebody mode. else. I bet there was. I bet there was. Lefty came in, too. Hi, Lefty. Um, and then, uh, let's see, Joe Coffee. I did not get the lump of coal. Um, okay, I think I got everything. <laughs> now, um, so, I'm starting off with red, because I'm just going to make a red cherry shrimp first. And I'm kneading it to make it soft. Um, and what? last week, all this clay was on sale at, at Hobby Lobby. Wish I would have went last week. Now, Shelby, what kind of clay are you using? Is it that Sculpey or whatever it's called? Is it the uh, same stuff? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I yep. just have a tiny little thing because it's only like two bucks for the tiny one. And I made a lot yep. of tiny shrimp out of it. <laughs> I was gotcha. like, oh, I don't need much. Look at that big block. I want to get that. I just haven't committed to it yet. If I have more time, I will buy them. <laughs> I I, I think I have about 12. <laughs> Every time I go to Walmart, I buy some. Oh, Walmart has a better... What? <laughs> $6 a pound. Now, did you use what? up all $6? the stuff that was sent to you, too? Because when Ed had his open heart surgery, uh, a oh, lot yeah. of people got together and, and got him a whole bunch of bricks but he does so much look at he still did you now is this all new stuff ed or is any of this some of the stuff that you were sent i i've used up i think all the stuff from uh all the white and, that you guys gave me and that was a okay, lot of stuff as well and and whip uh ed doesn't even i don't even think ed can see the youtube side of it at all uh, let me know if, used, if i can do something no i see lefty gave you an offer let me know if there's something i can do I bet I've used close to 200 pounds of that stuff last year. It's crazy. Wow. But uh, I still have the colors that you guys gave me. But I went with the, they they sent me some of the jewelry colored clays. And I never used them till last week. And I really liked them because they're a little thicker or just a brighter color. So I bought, it cost 50 cents more, but I bought the jewelry clay for the shrimp. What's the difference? And it's a lot brighter color. Mm, the colors okay. are just more vibrant. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, they don't get as soft, which I don't like. You know, it's like oh. they're a little harder to apply. But I think they might actually, in the end, be easier to sculpt because they might hold their form better. But I'm going to yeah. learn and find out. This is the first time you've made something like, like that with him. Yeah. Uh, Rena said, I have a Joanne Fabrics and Michaels oh. for craft stores. She uh, stays away I from have Hobby a, Lobby in Walmart. In this drawer, I even have more. Our Hobby Lobby oh, is Jesus. so much cheaper than everything else. So, Wow, look at all the... <laughs> <laughs> King of Sculpty. Sculpty? Sculpty. What's it called? It's not Sculpty. There's no T, right? Sculpty? Sculpty. Is there a T? No, Sculpty. Uh, Skull P. Skull P, which sounds like a whole different thing. Skull P. Poor Curtis. This, you guys got me this, and this one is like awesome for sculpting things. It's like the Whoa. super fancy pants one. So my friend used to make his own action figures. Oh, I don't know if you guys could hear me. My friend makes his own action figures, and he uses this gray stuff, but it's like really expensive, so I'm saving that for something special but then i also have like a bag of open stuff looks like candy i want some candy i think i have some <laughs> candy let's cow. see and then, oh i have candy Ooh, piece of candy Ooh, piece of candy <laughs> what do i got i got kit kats i got coal what else i got here i got some little doves and a rollo what do I want? I'm gonna have a piece of piece of coal. 
this is my uh, this is my crafting. This is my uh, contribution to the crafting. I'm gonna eat a piece of piece of candy. What's your favorite candy? That one, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I don't know. What? No. Cheese? The, the uh, what's it called? How, I don't know how to pronounce it. Like the Ferro Rocher? Rocher? Uh, ro uh, Rocher? With the, Rocher? yeah, with Ferro the Rocher? hazelnut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, have you ever tried Bueno? Bueno? Mm-hmm. Just, you probably just like good? Those. It's bueno. Yeah, bueno. Yeah, it's a hazelnut um, chocolate. It's really good. They have like different I, yeah. flavors. I don't think I've uh, I've tried that. I will look for it. I do have a sweet tooth oh. for sure. And here's a Rolo. Rolo, Rolo to your pal. I think I have a dead shrimp. Oh, oh no. They knew. They knew that you were making a shrimp and they were... Uh, Bueno is a kinder surprise egg in a bar. Oh, okay. Oh, I've seen those. They're I really did have good. those. Yeah, mm. those are really good. Mm -hmm. There's a malt right next to him. I wonder if he malted and died. There's Maybe a whole butt dead. ton of them on this food. Well, there's snails yeah. trying to eat him. Oh, I was going to say maybe yeah. he just, just now molted just a second or something. He's not moving. And the snails are chewing them. Shanna Shanners. Shanna Shanner to your Shan. That makes me sad. <laughs> okay. I'm not that magical lefty. <laughs> my uh, my daughter brought some all kinds of chocolates home from um, uh, the UK last time she went. They have, they have some really good chocolates. It was like a cow one. I milk, milk something. I don't remember what it was. That was pretty good. But uh, all kinds of different things. And my, my son, my youngest son... Gets the Japan crate. That's it. Snacks from Japan every. He gets it like once a month, and uh, there's some really good stuff in there. Different really weird stuff. Japan toys. Stuff. We have an Asian market right in front of us, like not far away, and they have every snack you can imagine there. So we don't have to do the crates, but yeah, they have Crickets. all the pocky flavors, the high chew yeah. flavors you can think of. Crickets. Um, gummies. Crickets. <laughs> no, probably. Like you know what? I don't crickets. think I've looked. Try it. They're better than they sound, especially like the spicy ones, the spicy crickets. They're so good. Really? Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. They're like, I'll have to they're try like, it. Uh, I don't know if they're freeze dried. I don't think they're freeze dried. I don't know what they're called, but um, probably freeze dried. I'll, usually things like that would be freeze dried or fried. They, they spice them up real well. So if you yeah. like, if you like hot stuff, you know, they're not super hot. They're just spicy. Do you ever watch but, those uh, videos of them eating and like, they have like the big pots and they're eating like all this weird stuff. Muck, I don't muck know why thing? I watched it. Muck. Yeah. Muck, I, yeah. I can't stand people eating, but I watch those videos on the daily. Like if you're sitting next to me and you're eating, it's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> but I watch like this right videos. now. Like this? No, no. Like in person sitting next to me. Like if I hear you breathing while you're eating, I'm going <laughs> to, I have to turn up music or something. <laughs> Well, we did that though at the Keystone Clash. Michelle was sitting next to you, but we were all eating while. It was, so. it was loud enough in there. Okay. Like, if I'm sitting there and it's too quiet in a room and I hear you, like, it's the breathing heavy while you're eating. And I'm like, are you okay? That's great information. And I will be using that in the future. Okay. Good. Good to know. Vinay, I will what's wear up, my headphones. <laughs> Kurt coming in, Jeff Kane, Rosie. Barbecue um, mealworms. I would try those. Barbecue mealworms. That's what Alexander said. Yeah, I would. Probably I would a lot try of protein. Those. Probably, yeah, yeah. That's the future, right? We might as well get ready for it. That's our future. That's where we're going. Insects. I'm not. Hi, Paul McCarthy. I'm we'll not be dead. Eating Ed. Insects. We'll be dead. Med cow, hope, what's up? Well, if if that's my only choice, I will be. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but we'll be right. we'll be gone. We'll be gone. It'll you know it'll be after our time. <laughs> I'd probably eat the guppies before I start eating roaches. Yeah, but if they're well, maybe roaches. But some of the stuff. I mean, again, the uh, the uh, crickets. Stink crickets bugs. were great. They they tasted great. You got to be, I, you know, choosy. Uh, I guess how anything the tastes good if it's wet. And uh, how the garden came in. So, uh, what's Ed working oh, on? Hey. Well, both Ed and Shelby are creating shrimp. 
We are going to see who can not make gotten very far. <laughs> a little shrimp. I uh, Neither have I, but I found out that my my nipper is not very sharp, so I'm thinking about finding a new pair of nippers. My nippers aren't very sharp not, either. They sorry. took off my... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not cold enough, little, is it? Uh, no. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and show, us, show us what you've got so far there, <laughs> Shelby. Show us what you got so far. <laughs> failing miserably i say that they, they just start looking like little whales oh I i'm can trying see to i usually make them a lot smaller so yeah well, i can see now. definitely the the shrimpiness is starting to come out of it yeah it's getting to this part that's getting difficult nice this is what i've there, got let's let's put ed up there you got like a there you go there's a hump an arch it looks like it. a seal <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? It's got very seal right now. It's just very sealish. Well, yeah. I believe the, the worst I part. Try. I've been looking at the shrimp behind me, you know, trying to. But the one I've been looking at's dead. That's not. That's not seal. <laughs> that that's R. Kelly. That's I know. A, just curl it up, you know. Dead shrimp, easier to make. <laughs> yeah. Well, they don't move around as much. <laughs> Kelly Foreman came in. Okay. She said, "Shelby, your hair looks so cool." Thank you. Lady R, hello. I wish I had that much Scuba hair. Steve. Uh, Scuba Steve says, so are you all going to auction each shrimp project for us to buy or no? What, uh, do, you, what, do, you, maybe, what do you think about doing them maybe, with them? I don't know what Shelby wants to do with hers. Mm, and I, I can probably really give it away what, once it's done. You can do like a giveaway. We could do that or we could give them away on your show. Either Even way. though you guys have probably really cool things to give away on your show. Well, she's making it, so it's going to be really cool. I think you just insulted her. Well, no, I mean, they give away awesome shrimp. Well, That's these true. Be awesome shrimp. They'll be awesome so, shrimp. Hey, this you know what? I would be honored to have a Shelby or Chattanooga Ed shrimp in my house. 100%. I mean, I would like that even more than the amazing shrimp that you guys sell. Even the big, expensive ones, I would prefer to have a crafted craft ed or shelby ed <laughs> shelby shelby Shel uh, fancy <laughs> shrimp shelby shelby <laughs> i need to find a, a sharp pair of nippers because i don't like how all my red is getting knocked off on my thing so i'll be right back yeah you, you gotta have a sharp pair of nippers so the red doesn't get knocked off your thing it's very important because, uh, you know, it's just you don't want the red knocked off. That's exactly how you do it. <laughs> Lessons 101 on how to uh, do this. Yes. Uh, I, I love Ed so much. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Scotty Aquati came in. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Todd. Uh, I know that I missed a ton of people. There's uh, 107, and I've said hi to wow. maybe 20, so... All you people, uh, Huawei, what's going on? Everybody, um, Fishymon, I think I said hi to Kirk and to Mr. McCarthy. Vanoski, Shane. Let's see, John Cox, need wire colors, not nippers for one. Are we taking a drink each time Ed walks away from the stream? That's a good idea, but I ran out of water, and that's all I'm drinking tonight. So I'm saving up for uh, New Year's. I got I to gotta be very picky about when I uh, you know, engage with those things. See who this else? Uh, yeah, you're having a tough time with it. Yeah, I I usually make them a lot smaller, so it's like the detail's not there. the The gotcha. shape is just not getting right here. Gotcha. It'll come to you, I'm sure, at the end. I mean, you think smaller would just, be harder? Yeah, but but like you said, you don't have to worry about the fine details as much because you yeah. just don't see it. I I loved uh, Ed's ghost shrimp that he did like the one with the drape on it i was like that's yeah. perfect you only got to do the tail and the antennas and the face it's <laughs> yeah. super easy you just, he's that, made that to be math produced <laughs> so many cool things did you see his um which one did he take to the was it clown loaches clown loaches no. those things it was clown cool. loaches yeah at the at the clash that was an amazing piece of artwork yeah, i'm hoping we to talking about it like next time I found Thank my you. old driver's license. Wow. You it look doesn't like even look like me. You huh? look like the guy from Clerks. Like, I wasn't even supposed to be here today. That's what you look like <laughs> to me. That's when I owned my photo studio. 
Yeah. Where was your smile? Isn't that crazy. I know. Did you, you not smile? Smile. No way. I always smiled like really weird, like in the in the driver's license photos and stuff. Okay, Especially so I didn't find I didn't find my nippers. So I found a pair of wire cutters, an army, a Swiss Army knife, and a pair of scissors. And we'll see. Somebody's gonna works. die. Somebody's gonna die tonight. I can feel it. You know what? I gotta go get some more drinkage. So give me like just oh, yeah, give that me a works great. That cuts. Well, you know, if we're shipping this, I'll tell you what, people. I'm not gonna. This thing weighs like ten pounds. It's like super heavy. That's why I've used it for years for my uh, remotes. I'll try to buy a cube that's the same size and fit whatever I make into it. And maybe I'll, you know, I've got the the what's it called? The A and B that you pour together and it makes like a plastic epoxy. Yes, I have epoxy. Maybe I'll do an epoxy setup. Ooh, that would be so cool. You've been wanting to play with a lot more epoxy. Yeah. Like I've been really. Just mix it right. Just equal parts and you're good to go. I sell it at work. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I, made, I made my niece's uh, boxwood derby cars out of it. What? That's cool. Yeah, so I made one glow in the dark, which was really neat because that stuff really glows. You pour the powder in there yeah. and I cut most of the wood out, but still had some wood from the frame and then made it like really cool. I did a, another one where she wanted uh, fluorescent pink and sparkles. So I, I did that with a big cool triangle in it. And then another one wanted cheese so i just cut holes in it <laughs> there was no epoxy it was just cheese that's so funny and then and then when i gave it to her she had this little doll mouse that was like this big she oh. wanted it glued on top so like i make this thing aerodynamic perfect slice of cheese <laughs> like that would go fast and then she puts this parachute basically on the back <laughs> and i had to carve out more wood to make it way right because she had this little I think they were called animal pockets or something. Yeah. Or these little they animal call me pocket animals. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I think was. Animal pockets. Hi, Crystal. But, hey, she was happy, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Who else did we miss? Anybody else coming in? Uh, Crystal came in, say hi. Terry's Tropical Tanks came in. Michael A said you're not allowed to smile for your license photo here. Yeah. <laughs> Are you not? I've heard that before in some places. I, I know uh, in Arizona, there was a guy, uh, a friend of mine who always, he wore glasses, but he always took them off because he didn't, I guess he didn't need them to drive. So he was allowed to take them off and he would make the weirdest face. My face was just a little bit weird, but he would make the weirdest face and they always let him do it. It's Arizona. They don't, they don't care. In Arizona. That's funny. Dennis said the same thing. You're literally, literally not allowed in Oregon. At, at all, or just, uh, you know, smile? That's Paul crazy. McCarthy said the same thing. Hmm. It looks he like should they let you have smile. Six probably big because, legs. What? Probably because when you see the police officer, you're usually not smiling. You yeah, know what I mean? I it's, so. not, it's usually not a happy occurrence. So when you hand it to them, they want it to really look like you, and you're not like, hey, Mr. Officer, you know, you're not. Uh, Whips World well, said, Mr. Ed, if I send you a PVC tube and paint, can you do your swirly thing to it? <laughs> okay. Uh, I know you said you could a month or two ago, but I want to be sure it's something you're really interested in. So the, the Duplo, yeah. is that what it is? Duplo? Diplo. What's it called? Duplo or like the those dip? big Legos. The Hydro Dip? Hydro Dip. Yeah, Hydro Dips. I, hydro the dip. only reason why I haven't been doing any Hydro Dips is it's been cold. Um. Normally, this time of year is 55 degrees. Like, we, like, have barbecues on Christmas normally. And this year was crazy. Now, today got hot. I had to take my jacket off. I was so freaking hot. But uh, if it if it keeps going like this, it'll probably be in the 70s or 80s next week. And it, it probably won't get to 80s until a while. But if it gets into the 70s, I'll do it. And, uh, yeah, I'd be more than happy to. Just, I've got a bunch of natural colors. If you want natural, let me know. Or if... uh. 
you want uh oh that leg's too big if you want uh Steelers colors you know yeah Steelers fan he I don't is. know I, I said that like Yoda Steelers fan he is mm. <laughs> now who was this uh it was whip oh and speaking of Yoda did you know Yoda has a last name it's not just Yoda is this a, a, is this what a joke? Is it? What's that? What is it? It's uh, Lehihu. Lehihu is his last name. Hmm. So it's Yoda Lehihu. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were Swedish. Ah. Yoda Lehihu. <laughs> that was too good. That was good. You always taught how to yodel once. <laughs> Sorry. Dad joke. I thought I was really good at yodeling when I was younger. I, I would belt it all the time. Like my parents probably wanted to gouge their ears out. I thought I was going to be like a professional singer. I can't sing. Like it's bad. And like no one told me. No one was like, Shelby, you're really bad. It wasn't until like I could record myself singing that I was like, why? Why did no one like go like, Shelby, it's just not the career for you. <laughs> it's not the thing for yeah. you. Yeah. Because no you can't tell. That. You can't tell. You Well, I love maybe song, they were hoping you hit puberty sing. and something shocking would happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it my, might be a little different for Shelby, but, uh, you know. Well, I bet girls' voices change. She doesn't a sound little like bit. a five-year-old girl. have a deeper voice. Yeah, <laughs> but I love to see. Don't get that. <laughs> when I'm alone here and there's nobody else in the house, or my son's in the basement, and I'm in my office working, nobody else is in the house. I've got the little Amazon uh, show sitting right here, and I got it. You know, I put some stuff on, and I'm belting it out. I absolutely love to sing, but I know I can't. I know I can't, but I still do it, and yeah, I'm just yeah. as loud as possible. Yes. Oh yeah. Any like uh, good classic songs? I'm not gonna say old because they're not oldies. I mean, some of the songs I grew up with now are oldies, and it's like, yeah. oh man, I feel like it, when I called oldies oldies all the time, I feel like I really offended a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they're like, wait a minute, that, you know, that well, classic rock has changed. I mean, a lot of '80s songs now are considered classic rock, and that does hurt. 90s. It does hurt. 90s now Shel that's like all i listen to and now i'm like an old person they're like like i work with people that are in their like 19s and 20s and uh i listen to like the the 90s uh hip-hop and things like r b and like the kids are like yeah i love this old song like this is great and i'm like what <laughs> no <laughs> oh gosh i pushed the thing in my mouth to call they call me grandma so at work sometimes because oh. I'm oh. that. Yeah. Oh, that that hurts me even worse. What? That hurts me worse. If they're what calling year you did grandma. you graduate high school? Huh? What was your graduation year? Twenty eleven. Oh my no, gosh. That's not right. Twenty ten? Twenty eight. Grant Grant knows the date so much better than me. So we've been together since what? Oh my gosh, is... 2010. So it was 2011 that I graduated. Yes, I was right. <laughs> she is so much younger than you and I, Rico. Well, you are quite a bit you... younger than me, even. So, well, I don't know about that. You Not are. Mentally. You are. You are indeed. Deedly doodly. Uh -huh. Deedly doodly. Well, <laughs> do you... okay. I don't know what year did Rihanna first come out and she was singing that club song they come one by one and two by two you know that song yeah noah's ark i it sounds like noah's <laughs> ark i used to listen to that song non-stop in the factory and all the guys were like what are you watching and listening to and i said this new chick is awesome her name's rihanna and they're like that's terrible and then all those guys like fell in love with rihanna yeah but She's i was awesome. like on the rihanna train like three years before the Rihanna train took off. <laughs> hey, Ed, 112 people in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so let me I show was you married guys for the first time in the early 80s. Let's just put it that way. Oh, wow. Oh, I got huge news. 
my best friend from high school, Ted Middleton, and he might be here, is engaged. Is that Preacher Ted? Father Ted. Yeah, what did you call preacher him? Preacher Ted. Preacher Ted. Oh, it's Preacher, preacher Ted. Ted. Yeah. See, you know, I knew a Preacher Bob. Fathers. I knew a Preacher Bob, but it was a little bit different because your, your friend is an actual preacher, and my friend was yeah. a biker who somebody slipped PCP to, and he found <laughs> God and gave away all of his stuff. So it was a, it's a oh little gosh. bit different, but they're still we still call them the same thing. And congratulations to uh, to Ted Middleton, Preacher Ted. Yeah, and he asked me to be his best man. Oh, well, nice. nice! So that's in April, and it's going to be in uh, Columbia, Missouri, I think. So very cool. I'll that's be cool. Uh, heading over to Carrie's area. No, and maybe I'll see if that's cool because I I said that I'd be happy to drill some tanks for them, and. Uh, I'll see if they can wait till April. I don't know. Maybe that's too far off. Now, or, when know, did you meet uh, Preacher Ted? Uh, he was my first buddy when I first moved to Illinois. Because I, you know, I grew up in Kansas City. And then my dad, my mom and, well, both my mom and dad, both, they worked at the same place. They were transferred to St. Louis because they shut the branch down in, uh, or the base down in wait, Kansas what's on, City. What's on your hand? the number for you to be able to log on <laughs> log on number um well, i can't remember a six digit number and type it but uh what was i saying sorry i just saw your hand i had well, to know but my mom and dad they were like trying to pick a school that was really good at football so that's why they picked Columbia, Illinois, because it's like they're always one of the top teams in Illinois. And they had a professional coach who did nothing but coach and stuff. You know, they were they were kind of more like uh, the the tenant or the Texas schools with, gotcha. you know, really gotcha. serious. And gosh, I have a tickle. But uh, he uh, that's why I ended up in Columbia. And that's where Jimmy P and I lived at the same time. And we still haven't figured it out, but Jimmy P may have hired me to shoot his daughter's wedding. One of his, one or both of his daughter's wedding. They were younger than me, but I was owning a photo studio at the time. So nice. That would have been weird. I know, but I've shot so many weddings. I can't remember. You know, I basically, when I shoot a wedding, it's all about the bride and groom. And I just try to make sure that they're super happy. And I don't really think about anything else, like talking to friends or anything. There you go, Ed, up on the screen. Can you read it? Oh, I should All just right, read it. All right, y'all. Oh. I'll just read it to you. All right, y'all. I got the okay. ADHD bug to clean, so I'm going to go act on it. Have a good rest of your stream night and see you tomorrow. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you could see it when they were on the screen or not, but I could tell it was. Well, I can scoot up. but That's okay. You're doing a thing. I'll, I'll read them to you. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> It's not for a pretty face, believe me. Well, you speak for yourself. I did, just now. <laughs> I know. I was hoping you wouldn't pick that up. <laughs> um, but no, it's going to be super cool to go back to Missouri, and I'm dropping things. That is. That is. That's awesome that you, uh, you're you still uh, in, what's the word I'm looking for, that you're still communicating with a friend that you've had for so long. Because I, I have no friends like that from way back in the day. Every once in a while, I, I talk to my buddy, uh, Sean Patrick O'Shea. But, uh, yeah, O'Shea. That's, that's it. I always call him that nice Italian boy. Sean Patrick O'Shea. But um, Maybe you would have had more friends if you didn't call them nice Italian boys. They're always after me, like terms. Um, and I, I have a really good friend who used to live up here. Uh, he lives in California most of the time. Actually, he lives in California, here, and uh, Roanoke. He's there building a house in Roanoke right now. But uh, I talked to him today on the phone, so that was cool. Well, the only high school buddies I'm still in contact with are... Oh, and I just dropped its legs. The ones I just <laughs> dropped a minute ago. Are Jimmy. my buddy Ted and my buddy Jamie. Let's see what you got he's so far, living Shelby. in Chicago. Oh, see where you're at. Got a Sorry. little bit more detail for the tail there. It's it's hard to see it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, it's, I, the, like, it's the really glare. Yeah. It's I should be doing see. detail. And a little bit oh. of the eyes, but yeah. 
It's we'll the wait terrible it's... light. My um, kids kind of stepped on our nice ring light, so oh. I got a very big uh, photo light for like professional photography and stuff. That's <laughs> it's a little big. Gotcha. All right, Ed. What about you? You ready to show anything off? Well, uh, can you, you give me one minute? Because I'm All just right, about whatever. to secure my chassis. <sighs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> so what's happening in the chat, people? What's going on over here? Coral, what's up? Who else came in? And we said hi to Kelly. We've got Katie. Shelby oh, Eduardo. here. Eduardo came in. Oh, sorry, Ed, go. Now, did El Eduardo change his name or what? He he has two different accounts he has to use uh, for different things. So sometimes it's one and sometimes it's the other. There's Melvin. Hi, Melvin. Debs. No dibs. Okay, I don't like these. Le oh, wait, I got something. I got a little stream yard up in the corner that I need to. I'm going to shut this. Oh, no, it was just my mouse was over it. Okay. <laughs> oh, here, oh, let's put you so up. Cute. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's coming it's together. Legs. Aww. <laughs> but I think I blew it. I should have done the details before I put the legs on. Because now I'm going to have to balance him on a stick and do the details. Yeah. Actually, I'll stick him to a stick. <laughs> the sticky stick sticks. Okay, let me look uh, at it. Let's see. Do you have your Wi-Fi code on your hand as well? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Oh, wait. That's not Wi-Fi. That's my StreamYard code. Which is only good for 15 minutes, so it's okay to show it. Oh, you weren't supposed to tell people that because it makes it more fun. What's up, Mikey B? Hello? Okay, where are their eyeballs? Oh, their eyeballs are up right up against their head. Good hmm. place for them, I think. Yeah, you're right, but that's okay. I can figure right. this out. <laughs> the eye stalks always freak me out. Anything with eye stalks always freak me out, like Mr. Krabs. And I'm going to be using the same glue I use for aquascaping and my same instant stuff that I use to make my eyeballs. Smelly smell. That smells smelly. And Killer Kitty said, so the, the wire makes the cute little legs. Yep. Good idea, though. Now... Oh, and these everywhere will be nice that way too. Those are what break the most. I'm gonna have to go get wire for that. <laughs> uh, it's, Scotty it's said, well "Yep, yeah. yeah, here, uh, everyone, please keep M and C in your thoughts. You lost four relatives since Christmas, including one today." Oh, oh wow. no! I didn't hear what That's... had happened. Uh, I did see that uh, in somebody's stream where they were doing a giveaway too, and I made sure to play for him just as a little token. Well, that's sad. I hate to hear yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, and like we said before, when something like that happens around the holidays, it's, I mean, it's always bad. It's always bad. It's never a good time, right? But around the holidays just makes it worse. Makes it worse. Uncle Rico narrating chat is cracking me up. That's what I do. I'm I'm the chat narrator. Even on my own streams, that's what I do. And if my <laughs> Uncle Bruce is here, hi, Uncle Bruce. And the rest of the clan. Yep. Nope. They I they haven't uh, checked in in quite a while. Hopefully they're doing okay. Yep. Aunt Donna and uh, Uncle Bruce. Yep. And then there's also... Uh, Layla, my, I, I think she's a second cousin, but I for, I prefer to call her a second niece. Oh no. Uh, you know, we're not close but, to family like that. So I don't have any of those. Uh, my, my wife is close to her family, but, um, I haven't seen anybody from, you know, like my side, like my parents' side of the family in, um, uh, 25 years. Wow. And I have cousins and well, not too many uncles and aunts. My my dad had, there was seven kids in his family. Uh, there's not very many of them left. I mean, they're all, 
they would be in their 90s now. So they're mostly all gone. But I don't know any of the cousins or anything. Don't know any of them. So it's it's neat to hear, like Ed, when he talks about all his family and his nieces and nephews and all that stuff. It's it's cool to hear about. Yeah, I'm finally having a big My, family by me for once. Usually everyone, I have a huge family, but like in Indiana, so I don't like ever get to see them. Yeah. Um, but Down now my family's no. growing quite a bit. I have a stepsister, um, and now another stepsister, stepbrother, and then they have um, two kids. And then um, my brother has a kid, which I never expected. So I was so happy to become become an aunt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I got my little nephews. I got three nephews. See, uh, my kids are all adults. They're all three in committed relationships. My my oldest, my daughter's married. My oldest son uh, is engaged, and they're about to get married. But I I have no uh, no grandkids, and it's it's just not right. It's not right. I was made to be a, a grandfather. So. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, they're very disappointed. Uh, Ariel. <laughs> that's what happens when Ariel married a Englishman, because they like to start in their late twenties, don't they? I don't know. A lot of Europeans start in their late twenties. They enjoy their early years, which they should. I, I agree with that. That's a good way to do it. Uh, babies shouldn't be having babies. Yeah, yeah, that's gross. I don't even want to think about that. Yeah, we were really young. It was definitely hard when you uh, don't know how to take care of yourself properly, and even when you're like sixteen and know what think you know what you're doing and i you know the the older i get the more i know that i don't know anything <laughs> yes yes and that's a sign of intelligence i think that the the you know a lot of people think they know a lot you know a lot of people think they're super intelligent and uh most most truly smart people not that i'm one of them but truly smart people truly intelligent people realize that there's so much more they don't know than they do know yeah well, I don't know anything, and I'm not intelligent. I'm right with you, Ed. That's why we get along so well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know how to craft. A lot of people don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I have no creative skills whatsoever, none. In any any media, anything, any medium, media, any any genre, any type of anything. No, you don't think you could write a book? Nah. Like even a short novel. Wow, stop throwing things at me. My <laughs> Jaden got me. reindeer poop for Christmas from my mom, who's one who's <laughs> like doesn't like all those things, like the you know, loud bangs and things. So she gets Jaden these reindeer poops and they're little TNT. Oh, the little poppers. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just chucking at them like they're gonna pop or something. Where are you? <laughs> He is over tanks. This is terrorism, people. This is terrorism. We are seeing terrorism in action as we are sh trying to sculpt <gasps> things here. Oh, no. I what appreciate happened? it. Did they just rip something down? Are they okay? Oh, my gosh. You almost broke something. Come on. Someone take him. I'm yeah. I'm in dangerous conditions. Yeah. I need more money for this. Somebody who has like a coal mine or something to put them to work. They're shutting all those down. Oh, well, I saw the, the funniest thing today. And it said, you know, we took the children out of the coal mines. And the number one game today now is Minecraft. The, the coal <laughs> mines are calling to them. <laughs> I was like, when you think about it, it is pretty messed up that that's like the number one game. How's that for eyes? Oh, oh, oh Look hold at on. That, that thing's hold gonna on. hold together really well. Hold on. I was eating candy. I wasn't doing my job. Oh. I'm gonna drop a little piece between his eyes. But oh, to cover up that little the, the little and that's what I did for its bottom. See, I dropped that so they wouldn't keep falling off. Oh. I, I like the little piece of You're metal between his eyes it, because it Look it almost looks like is. um like he's got little well, glasses, like little shrimp glasses on. It's so cute. Hold on. Ed, show it again. Oh. Come 
is so cute. Look at the little legs. Oh, the shrimp, fire. shrimp. I love shrimp. So now I need to make his like a uh, like segmented armor in its tail. Oh. Hi, Grant. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Grant. How's it going? And he's wearing an awesome hat. This is terrorism, he's got a new Grant. Super cool we, we've hat. all agreed. We've agreed that this is uh, terrorism. Poppers. It's not. No, oh. You almost ruined my shrimp. Go so away. All right, go away. Kelly Foreman said I could write a romance novel. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to write a novel. I've got a couple of good stories. I've been. <laughs> I used when I worked in the dark room. I used to write stories all the time like in journals and i just don't know how to put it together i don't know how to i have the storyline but i don't have all the crap in between what they do the filler my, my daughter and i did write a uh, a children's book when she was little because she had a stuffed animal it was a blue dog with big fluffy big floppy black ears named oatmeal so we wrote a we wrote a just a story about oatmeal, but that's all. Um, you have a request, Ed? Alexander's Aquariums would like to see the, the tank back there with your, your shrimp tank. Okay, you want to do well, that? Well, you want to hold on and, and until you get to a certain point that you can... Let's hold oh, off for here, it. Let's let hold off. I can do it. I'm just... I was kind of smearing <laughs> the little piece in the middle. <laughs> Silver Creek says, Grant has funky tank arm. Don't let him touch you. <laughs> now, now, right now... I've got the champagne glass. It's got green beans in there, and it's to catch snails. So that's what I've got going on. That's why there's a champagne glass in there. Normally it doesn't, but I can I can count like ten snails in there right now oh, that I need to scoop out. It. What are they? And what then kind of, I can't see what snails are. They ram's horns? I can't really see. Oh, so, uh, yeah, they're ram. There's bladder and ram horns. Oh, okay. And then uh, there's a bunch of. Uh, shrimp and some snails trying to eat some of my really good uh shelby and grant food can you see the snails am i aimed at the right angle i can't see i can see the shrimp i can see yeah. the eggs i can see some of the snails on the, the piece of yeah wood is that petrified wood or rock petrified wood oh okay let me pull down a and Is it uh, better now, the pile of, of shrimps? Yes, we see that for sure. And I do see, see, see some snails in there. See some snails. There's a whole bunch of shrimp on this uh, Nano Petite way over here. I don't know, they're just like hanging. Can you see them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They must be playing tag yeah. in that space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ed, you got a 99 cent super chat from uh, from Patty. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Patty. Patty's so sweet. Thank you. Patty's so sweet. I just dropped my tool. <laughs> I think that's the first time anybody's Ed, ever said that. Me. <laughs> uh, today, yesterday, I made a short and it was a stinky one because it had <laughs> bad country music, but it was neon rainbow country music and it was neon dwarf neo rainbows. Oh my gosh, they got look, they have both styles. That's the original. See how it's gray? And they even have I shirts, have don't they, Ed? They even have shirts. Yep. And then I now I just have the black instead of the gray. I like but the it's black gray on the more. back, and Shelby's is black on the back. <laughs> yeah, I sold out of the first ones. But so the the song only or the short only got four hundred views and two subs. So she said to use the Rolling Stones and some type of a, a rainbow song. It's a pretty good song about combing your hair. Well, I used that. And it got 400 views and four subs. So it got like 40 less views, but it got two more subs. They turn mine off. They don't. Uh, I get like two, three, four, maybe five views on the sub or on the shorts. They just don't work anymore at all. Not even my regular uh, viewers are looking at them. Oh, so they just, I don't know what's what happened to them, but they don't work anymore at all. So I just gave up. I had a bunch of them scheduled. They go all the way to March, but um, eh, I'm, not, I'm just going to not do it anymore. Not going to worry about it. Uh, I don't have any kids yet. I just have nieces and nephews, Melvin says. 
Uh, I don't <laughs> want any kids at this point in my life. Joe stands making fudge, and Silver Creek said we didn't need to know you were in the bathroom. <laughs> I can't find my lid to my... Oh, there it is. There it is. It's right there. You got it. Everything Joe keeps falling on the ground. You don't know. Patty uh, could have been covered in sugar, and then someone might say she's sweet. He knows I joke. He knows I joke. I'm a joker. <laughs> it all melts. Okay, now, Most now I need to segment. It's back. Patty I think Clark. I got a female here. <laughs> yeah, you get to decide. You are the creator. I don't know how I'm going to segment the back. Do you do that? Do you put the details in the back? Uh, sometimes. Maybe I'll just leave it real simple. Once, once I add the whiskers to him. Or the antennas, rather. So, Shelby, um, you, I asked you, you a question in your stream last week, or maybe it's been two weeks ago. But, and I, I admit, or confess, I... I do my water changes during your guys' streams <laughs> and do duckweed. And I think I may have been doing duckweed even on that one. But um, I asked, what are spider legs? What are spider and legs? Cause, yeah, because you were saying you want a shrimp or you don't want a shrimp with spider legs or you something about shrimp with spider legs. And I wanted to know if spider legs were good or bad. They're good. So the spider leg is just referring to a term of the coloration on the legs of the shrimp. So with my pintos, oh, the color. yeah, a lot of the times you'll see like most shrimp don't have the color or pigmentation to their legs, but like higher grade caradina, you can get color coloration and um, you'll have red and white stripes on the legs. Mm, okay. What? And you call those spider legs. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I totally wanted to, take advantage of having the opportunity with her to ask her that because it's been bothering me for like a couple of weeks. <laughs> Had to know. <laughs> uh, Alexander wants to know if I have a store or walk in aquarium room. No, no, this is just, uh, this was my oldest son's bedroom. It's currently my office. If you're talking about the sign back there, uh, I do uh, live streams that I try to make feel like people are just hanging out, having a drink. So I, I there's a, this brick, where that is you can't see it in the in the nighttime but this is brick behind there and then it's got the sign and eh, i just thought it looked like a, a bar so that's why i bought that open sign <laughs> the vibe i was going for so no i this is it i don't I only have like uh 10 tanks up and running it's all in this little office it's a very small room it looks actually bigger than it is and it's crammed with stuff like you can barely see it but there's tubs on the floor over here uh that i have to put back into the closet you know, we had piles and piles of Christmas presents because nobody's allowed in here. So, I, uh, I June, only Oscars. And uh, Stephanie June. McGinnigan. Stephanie McGinnigan. She says, hello and thank Stephanie. you whoever gave me a membership. And that would be Alexander Englehart. They're still coming in. Somebody just a few minutes ago got another one of the Alexander ones. Oh, and there's another Patty Petite Tanks 99 cent super chat says 100%. Well, it just says 100, but I'm assuming 100%. Well, thank you so much, Patty. You don't have to do that. I don't think they can even. You're so see awesome. Shining a laser on me. <laughs> oh, mm. let's see if it'll reflect in the back of her eye. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. Oh, I'm yeah. teasing. I'm teasing. Oh. Kitchen floor. Now, hello. The antennas kind of come out of their face instead of their back of their head, like an insect. Like their it's eyebrows. like the antennas come right out of their front of their face. Yeah, right out of their like a little nose. This isn't a very good. This is not how they really are. But it's so hard. It <laughs> I always think I could make a shrimp so easily. Then I start to do it, and I'm like, "This is so difficult." <laughs> Oinky, Oinky came in with a membership uh, chat, and she says, uh, do you have a favorite aquarium safe glue? I just use, uh, I have a quick drying super glue. I don't have it right here next to me, but I have a 
It's the quick drying stuff just because um, my hands shake so bad sometimes. I need the stuff that I don't have to sit there forever and hold the thing to it. But it, it's, yeah, I don't have it here. That's my favorite. I use the, I buy things of the, the gel super glue from uh, uh, the dollar or from the Dollar Tree. And they'll have like three packs for a dollar. You can use that. But I love, I use this mostly because it's the same stuff I use for my models. So when I'm making all my miniatures, I use this stuff. And then I use the instant spray. So I spray it on there and instantly hardens. Gotcha. So like I use that for his little eyeballs. I glued his eyes to a, a stick on both sides. And then I instantly glued them. So it was like... A, a chassis for a car, but then I shoved it in to its head. If that makes <laughs> sense. Um, oh, Stephanie said uh, her cat broke the discus that you got from you, Ed. Oh, no. That oh. sucks. That sucks. Well, oh, is it, where'd it break? Oh, let's see. That was glued on the back. It wasn't drilled. Hmm. I wonder if she has like hardwood floors or something and it really hit hard. No, it's a cat. They probably knocked it off on purpose. Cats do. Oh, yeah. Uh, Alexander I, also has been a right member. Off. Is also using uh, his free membership chat and asking, could each of you tell what your favorite fish is and why? Shelby, you want to tell us what your favorite fish is? Mm, and you have to have a good fish. reason. You have, you have to have a good reason, too, because he said, and why? So it's got to be a good reason. Don't just, you know, it's because it's pretty. That's not good enough. <laughs> um, right now, I currently really like, um, it's hard to choose, but uh, Dr. Anthony did just bring me red pencil fish from Peru. Oh, yeah. And they have been super cool. They go like right up to the top. There's like this one little tiny gap at the top corner where I feed them at. And they'll come up to that area and sit there and wait for me to feed them. So, like, they've just been, I'm like, all right, I'll feed you. <laughs> you know, yeah. you feel guilty. So I'm really enjoying those right now and just the coloration. So. That's what he said, too. He said, you better say uh, red, new red pepper. <laughs> that's, that's funny. That's cool. What about you, Ed? What's your favorite? You've got so many, too. What? Uh, what's? Well, you'd think it was guppies because I have so many guppies. Yeah. Um. But it's still going to be my, uh, and I'm probably mispronouncing it, which is terrible, uh, Deltese Beicher. Uh, they're also known as armored or banded Beichers. Gotcha. I absolutely love her. She is so gentle and nice to the other fish, but if she wanted to, she could kill them all. <laughs> um, she loves to come right up to the glass and look me in the eye because it's a, a four foot tall tank. So she comes, it's so it's like, goes about six inches above my head but she comes right to the glass where my face is and looks me in the face and she's so you, just so cute and so special she's only, my favorite fish i've ever had you're only three foot six there's a four foot no, tank it's, it's about six inches above your it's three feet off the ground <laughs> oh okay, okay so it's way up there <laughs> that's a good one I, and i love you all of your bicers you got a couple of the ornates too correct yeah, the, now the ornates are kind of jerk faces. I mean, I love them because they're a lot of fun to watch. The cats love the ornates yeah. because they're constantly, you know, all over the joint. And they're all action all the time. But they literally eat everything in the tank. Because I bought them to be friends with this bicher. And I got two of them for $15 in an auction. It was the big fish deal a few years ago. Yeah, And I was like, I can't pass up two bicher for fifteen dollars in ornates. I mean they're the probably the prettiest of all the the bicher, but they're I think they're the most aggressive and they grow the fastest. So they're already about 16 inches long while my other one is about 10 inches. Now she's 10 inches but she's an inch to two inch or about two inches tall. So she's getting thick and big. And they're getting it long be. like rope fish. Gotcha. So uh, you've but got a super chat eventually from Eventually, she'll be the bomb. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean over. Nope. Talk over you there. Uh, Whips World gave you a $3 super chat. Says, my hero. Whip, you're awesome. <laughs> I can't wait till Whip moves down here. 
Yeah, he's It'd got property so cool. down already. Yeah. Yeah, I, and I, he's like saying on the other side of the mountains, a stretch. But he's only like an hour drive from my house. Oh, cool. You know, yeah. three, but it's a really crappy mountain drive. Oh, gotcha. And so it might take two hours, but he's he's going to be close to a Bucky's. So that's cool. I'm going to go visit <laughs> Wick a lot, or Whip a lot. And uh, for the Bucky's. there's a fish store. Yeah, there's a fish store in that town also called Whips or Wicks. Oh. So there's Whip oh. and Wicks. They're going to be in Wick the same Whip. town. Wick and Whip. Wick and Whip. Uh, She's my an favorite Asian lady. My favorite fish. That's a, that's a tough one. It's probably going to be either the Denison barbs or the Bozeman eye rainbows. Uh, I it, and it just depends. Uh, the Gadeids are really cool too, though. I mean, I I have those ah, in a I love them. Um, they're very like you were saying, Shelby. They're very personable. They they're constantly. They don't shy away. Like I have a bunch of. Uh, rosy fathead minnows and a couple of bluegills in this tank and they're very they startle very easy the gadeids are always very interested in what i'm doing you know they're always you know but the denison barbs are just mine have a green sheen on the top of them so they've got so many different colors they've got like pink red blue yellow not blue pink black red yellow green i, I think that's all I think I got them all, but it's got all those different <laughs> colors on them yeah. and they just, the way they move through the water and stuff, I just, but those uh, bows, my rainbows too. Um, I've got a bunch of those, uh, love them. I just, I know a lot of people don't like that body shape of the rainbows, but I, I think they're cool. I think they're weird looking and I like weird looking, you know, otherwise I wouldn't look like this, you know, I get where I'm going. So those, I, it's tough. You know, I also have Congo Tetras that I think are amazing, too. But Aww. they're not, uh, I don't know, they just don't have the personality that the other ones do. Like I want the, kind. The Bozeman Eye Rainbows, when I go over there, they all line up looking at me directly straight on. Not sideways, but looking. Ooh. They all line up, <clears throat> and they're all looking at me straight on. And I, I don't know, it's just weird. I love watching that. Love watching no. that. Goodyads do that. That's why I like them. Goodyads. I still don't yeah. know how to pronounce it right. Everybody <laughs> says goodyads, but I just would it. I say them whichever which way. People know what you're talking about. Nobody. You don't need to be pedantic. Yeah, on my channel, nobody gets to be what's it, speech Nazi or whatever because I mess up everything. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, what's going on in the chat here? Uh, Eduardo says uh, his favorite are the liar, liar tail vampire super red sword tails. Yeah, he has some of those guys here. Whip says cool. I'm going to be in Spencer. Oh, said, I thought I, he was going to be in Cook. He said, I know right where you are. Town, not actual address. I'm not a freak. I have his address, Whip, if you want it. <laughs> speak, for, speak for yourself. <laughs> okay. Right. See so you, let's Todd. See. To Directions to Spencerville, Tennessee. And only Oscar says, uh, you know who mine are. My favorite fish. <laughs> Wait. Can I guess? Only are you sure? Only Oscars. Was it Spencerville? That's Just in Spencer, Pennsylvania. Spencer, right? Wasn't it Spencerville? Where's it at? Uh, where's Whip at? Whip, Directions where are you, Whip? to Spencer, Tennessee. Yeah, just Spencer. Spencer is one hour, four minutes from oh. location by car and light traffic. One hour. Here are your directions. Oh, it's it near McMinnville. Winchestertonville. See? Oh, yeah. Not far at all. No. An hour and four minutes. Very nice. Yeah, Super and scary. at McMinnville, I think, is where they have the Mafia fish store. And did you did you ever hear about this, Shelby? What? I, I found a fish store that I think it's ran by the mafia. What? Because everything in it, they have like a cup, they have like six fish tanks in there with fish in it. And they're all fish that you can find at Walmart. And then all the things that they sell is like one item each from Walmart that's across the street from them. So it's like, I think it's a front. I really don't yeah. think it's a real fed store there. Cause there's no way that they can be open for four years, not selling anything. Right. 
Yeah, I guarantee you it's 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 a front. We we we've made jokes about one of our uh restaurants that is literally no one ever in the parking lot. Now it's been busy recently, but before it was like how are you still open? <laughs> you haven't had a single person in the parking lot, so it definitely. Yeah. Uh Patty said fantastic shirt and award winning shirt, and I'm pretty sure she's talking about yours, Ed. Because you've got these oh. Saturday morning cartoons with Shanna and Look. Depths Unknown. Can you see? I stained it or something. There's like some stains on it. I need to see if I can get that out. Shout it out. And I'm like, <gasps> what did I eat today? I ate a hamburger uh, after the <laughs> grocery it. store. And then I had a uh, cinnamon roll. That's all I've had today. So I don't know what it could have been that spilled all over it. Well, I did drink a cup of milk. Maybe I chugged that thing too fast and got some milk on my shirt. <laughs> now, now, did you hear how he said that word? What he drank? Chug? Nope. Milk? Say it. Say it, no. Say it, Ed. Milk? You say milk, Shelby. Ed and I say milk with an E. I didn't notice that. <laughs> milk. I say it too. That's uh, from funny. Indiana, uh, you know, but and I say too. Uh, Aquatic Universe with Mike B gave you a four ninety nine super chat. Ed, love your passion for your artwork. Shelby, you both rock. And Grant, he threw that at both of you. And he <laughs> said uh, uh, to me, love your dog videos. You're cool too. <laughs> that reminds me. I got a story about that. Thanks again for the wood. I'm glad that so many people enjoy my wood. Um, but that reminds me of when I was a young man and I lived with a band. They were called Damn Straight. It was in uh, We lived in Tempe, Arizona. And uh, no, no, I'm sorry. We lived in Scottsdale at that time. Scottsdale. But anyways, um, we would go someplace, right, as a, the house. I lived in the house and I was the only person in the house who wasn't part of the band, right? So, But we'd go someplace as a group to a party or something and they'd go, hey, everybody's here. And there's Rick <laughs> every time, you know, like like I wasn't part of the everybody. I was and there's Rick. You know, I was always the add on every time. So that's sort of a, that reminded me of Mike. <laughs> well, um, but <laughs> if somebody didn't was sick or something, would have you filled in in the band? Uh, I could barely play. I played a little bass and a little drums, not enough to actually play for a song. Just when they needed somebody to practice and do something very, very simple. I could do stuff, but that was it. I wasn't, yeah, I could never actually play in a boom, boom, song. Boom, 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 boom. Super easy, you know, super easy stuff. Scuba Steve says to Shelby, tell my, tell her my yellows are yellowing and my blue diamonds are blue diamonding. Sick. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> and Annette just was gifted a membership from Alexander oh. still. So there's, they're still happening. Uh, awesome, Oinky wants Annette. to know, uh, Oinky says, uh, when are you going to make an aquarium coffee table? Oh, uh, Grant. I, like I mean, uh, Shelby. We're missing. No, no. He there just she said that to all of us actually, but I think probably you guys because you know you're more crafty people. <laughs> We've been wanting to. We've been wanting to make an epoxy table, and then it's changed. I really like the um, table with the tank in the center of it, and I thought it'd be cool to aquascape, but we haven't decided, and we don't really have the room for a table in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, but I want it. <laughs> I uh, used to want one really bad, but when I hurt my back, I don't want anything I have to bend over yeah. or get on my knees to clean. So, like, right. I've got oh, about 25 tanks in my fish room. Oops, I've got about 25 tanks in my fish room that I'm going to completely clean out, pull the plants, and I'm gonna go glass bottom and just raise out fry in. Because I'm so tired of getting down on the floor to clean those things. It's just gotcha. too tough. Yeah. And uh, then I'm adding the new fish room. So it'll make up for this the fish that I'm losing. I, uh, I would love to have one of those, but I don't have any fish at all outside of this room. Um, partly because we're still doing some work on the front of the house. Uh, and Michelle's not a real big fan of having them out there. She just doesn't. She doesn't hate the fish tanks, but, uh, you know, she'd rather I keep my hobby in, in here. 
I mean, if I want to pull one out, I can. But, uh, you know, happy wife, happy life. Someday I'll move to the basement. Uh, Once the kids are gone, I will move to uh, the basement and build a real fish room. Uh, John Cox says uh, that store is a real store. They make koi ponds. I would not send them many biz, but they are legit. And there's Keystone Clash. Hello, Keystone Clash. Oh, look, Keystone Clash. Ow! I was going to order my room and I forgot. Patty said it ain't a real shirt without some schmutz on it. (laughs) Now, I'm going to be on... Oh, maybe that's a secret. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. He mentioned it in the chat. Okay, I'm going to be on Scotty's show on Monday or Tuesday. I think Monday. And Monday. I'm going to get the hang second. out with hey, Scotty. The second, yes. And yes. then on, I don't know if it's the first or the last, but I'm going to be hanging out in that New Year's Eve party show. That's Saturday, Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Depths Unknown channel. I'm so glad you said p.m. When you said 9, I got all scared. Like 9 a.m.? I was like, oh, my on gosh. On New Year's? Is he say it? Is that would New be Year's... crazy. Fuck. That's, New Year's is actually, the New Year's Day is Sunday. Saturday's New Year's Eve. Um, I don't know. I, Patty said, I moved away from all my party friends, so I don't do anything. Gotcha. So you'll stay up anyways, though, because you usually stay up till four in the morning, right? Yeah, well, I can't really help it, but yeah, I do. <laughs> Patty said, now I call Eric Y. Rock Mr. Rock because I saw him in those Rico tights. <laughs> and Oinky, you're very welcome for that API water conditioner. Uh, that was leftovers from the uh, Fish Fam Christmas last year. So I'm glad they uh, they all went to the community anyways. And yes, yeah, Sharing Wood was my nickname in college, John. <laughs> All right, scrolling down here. It keeps jumping on me. Do we have an update? Do we want to see any updates? You guys got stuff to show? Anything well, different? Are we? T- is it time? Okay. Ed, I'm going to use Gardy. metallic paint to uh, tip. All- I've got red metallic paint, so I'm going to tip all the ends that are kind of chipped. But I'm not going to do anything more with it. Here, let me stick them to this. I'm not going to do anything more with him. I'm going to leave him how he is and kind of have him blush. But I'm already working on a blue one. And I just made its eyes. Whoops. Where do the eyes almost looks like a, um, uh, a nose ring or something. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, a truck for a skateboard. Yeah. All right. What about you, Shelby? You got an update for us? Oh, yeah. It's coming along good. Oh, my gosh. It looks so Look real that. and awesome. That's oh, very, I love yeah. it so much. <laughs> so cool. much better than mine. Now, uh-oh, I think you're muted. Did we mute oh, you? Muted you are muted. My bad. Okay. Uh, I was asking Grant to preheat the oven so I can bake it, so I can paint it. So what are you oh going to paint God, it? I love it so much. Huh? What are you going to paint it? What's it going to be painted as? Uh, um, I haven't decided yet. Okay. Okay. Depends on uh, how it comes comes out. <laughs> so uh, next week, we're so there's nobody going now. I don't believe because normally at this point, Skipper lately oh. has been doing the nocturnal feeding show, but he's sick, so I don't believe there's anybody going at this point. Uh, so, but whenever you guys, if you want to keep going, that's fine. But we are an hour well, and 38 minutes into it. So just so you're aware, Ed. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to keep anybody here extra long, and especially I don't think Shelby. They, you know. they want to stay here. Oh, you, you meant <laughs> you meant Shelby and myself. Uh, I'm good with whatever. <laughs> I just um, dropped my eyeballs. I was going to say, there's still 95 people watching at this point. So, Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you know, there's still a ton. Um, Ask us a question. We can answer any fish or shrimp question right now. What about uh, we... next week finishing up? Are, is Shelby, can you come back next Thursday? Yeah. Ed, does that I, sound I like a... I believe so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll escape it then. That'll that? be... I'll finish my shrimps, and then we'll escape next week. That right. sounds good. Shelby will kick my 
spot at scaping. Now, <laughs> that's okay. And you both said you wanted to give these away too. Would you do a giveaway next week when they're done? Well, that sounds good. I, or yeah, I can do that, but I'm going to actually fill mine with epoxy. Oh yeah. Oh, oh I okay. I think it's going to mine might take a little bit longer because I don't know if I'll be able to do the epoxy on camera because I don't want lots of air bubbles. Yeah, yeah. You got to mix it and go real slow. Well, and then I might try to suck the air out depending on how much. That's the fumes, right? Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty toxic? Oh, it's not that know. strong. I've never been of that. No, I, 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 okay. Not too okay. bad. It could be worse. <laughs> okay. I've, every time I've done it, I've done it indoors. <laughs> but you know, I melt stuff. And I'm in this little room I mean, and I'm melting plastic. So I mean, and look, me. so kids, this is what happens <laughs> when you don't pay attention to proper ventilation. Your beard turns red. <laughs> you have a torch for the bubbles? Uh, you, I've never done that style. You know, yeah, I've just uh, done the, the air, you know, the vacuum. Oh, okay, yeah. But I, I do know people do the torch and that just pops the bubbles at the top somehow it, yeah it brings them to the surface it has the heat rises and it brings them to the surface so you get less bubbles okay well i mean i have a torch i, oh, I was gonna say i have a heat gun too but it would be too much blowing a torch but, uh, for bubbles i it seems like either like a smith song from way back in the day or maybe something from trailer park boys or song. no <laughs> torch for bubbles uh, Patty gave you another really works, guys. 99 cent super chat with uh, the face. This is, this is, I need, I need Patty's address so I can send her this little oh. crab I made. Send her the crabs. He got little eyeballs, but he's a <laughs> magnet. Uh, Lori, hi, Lori, Monster Fish Gal. I don't know if we said hi to you. I don't remember if we saw you, but uh, Lori's oh in here. Gosh. She said, and she dropped the link for the New Year's Eve extravaganza stream, 9 p.m. Eastern. A lot of people going to be stopping in on that. So very cool. That's um, awesome. Oh, what did Whip say? I see. Uh, oh, I saw it. I said it said Ed with a question mark. Scrolling down oh. to. Eduardo wanted to know what this project is. This is, we are making little shrimp scapes. And I didn't mean to steal you for two episodes or two, ep you know. Oh, you're fine. I, I think Shelby, okay, well, yeah, <laughs> I thought Shelby was, when she said you were going to be up, she was, she seemed like she was very excited about doing it. Yeah. No, well, that's everybody wants to stream with Ed. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> well, I don't know. Of course. It's an honor. Well, I enjoy it a lot and I really appreciate you coming up and having fun with us. We should probably wrap it up though, so that way somebody else can go. Or Shanna said you know. she'll do a pop up whenever Ed is done. So I, oh. I think. Uh, so okay, are you well, guys both at a good point to quit right now? Is there anything? Yep, well, I just got to heat mine up. So and that's that's it for a little bit. Let it settle. I'm going to cut the wires and stick his eyeballs in, and have a red and a blue, and. Maybe I'll make a yellow, and I'll have like kind of a, a Skittles tank or something. Ah, oh, that would be so week. cute. Well, said, and normally I'm a species only guy, but eh, I kind of want to do different colors to see what they look like. They're species. You know, it's my first time, so I want to make it fun. They look uh, good. But thank you, everybody, for the super chats. Patty, thank you. Alexander. Oh, Killer Kitty. Yeah. Thank you so much. Craft and I do and craft and, eater. <laughs> that's okay. good that's yeah funny. yeah and when for the longest time i was going i wonder if their name's edder because that would be so cool because kenny's name is edwards i'm like i'd have the same name as everybody it, it's eater right ed it's like uh, eater yeah, almost. i think in because he's german descent that it was edder um but they just they pronounce it eater so they're, I don't know if they're just not sure if it's like what happened, if someone just mispronounced it. I mean, his family's from New Zealand and they have different accents. So like it could just be lost, you know, but yeah, yeah they pronounce it eater now. Uh, and Patty well, said to Ed, uh, it would be a shame to send a whole big package with that one little crab. We should fill it up. <laughs> well, 
maybe I can uh, shave the cat or something and put some fur in there. <laughs> um, do uh, Shanna, do you want to go create your stream and then we can drop the link for it and send everybody over? Yeah, that'd be great. If you haven't already. And that's Shanna 503 Aquatics, which isn't on the show. No, oh, Saturday morning cartoons. This is her show on Saturday morning. And she just made a fantastic fish rack yesterday, which looks super cool, especially when she turns the lights on in the fish tanks. Stephanie just gave you a $2.99 super chat. And Stephen P gave you a $20 super chat. Thanks for being oh, you. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Stephen. I really, really appreciate it. I, I do. You guys are all awesome. But let's end it because I don't want people to keep sending fish tracks or fish tracks. That's not fish, fish tracks. Not fish snacks. What am I? Super chats. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. And thank you, mods, so much. Thank I you, think Rico. You... Thank you, Shelby. You guys were awesome. Thank you. Well, we'll, well we gotta wait a minute over. though. We wanna we wanna wait for for uh, Shanna, you know, and in, in case anybody oh. did want to drop another super chat, just because it is the holiday oh, season. No. And, Ed, such an amazing guy. So we want to hold oh, off just until best. Shanna oh. can get her stream up. Uh, and Select Pet said, did Ed just compliment Shanna's rack? <laughs> <laughs> he did. Yeah, and he said, especially nice. it has cool lights on it. So that's interesting. Yeah. Yes. It, it's very <laughs> big. And it that way. <laughs> Scuba Steve, did you see that? Did I say <laughs> that? Scuba Steve gave you a 499 yeah. Super Chat. Uh, and you Scuba guys just Steve hold on in the I... chat. Uh, and we'll make sure that we get that link for Shanna's in there. Uh, it'll be here. There it goes right there. Monster Fish Gill, thank you so much. She just dropped the link. Everybody is uh, going to go over there and hang out with Shanna. And I'm going to go awesome. to bed, so I will not be hanging out. But uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, it's glad, I'm glad you're doing a, a stream too, Shanna. We'll see you guys. And there's another super chat from Patty. 99 cent super <laughs> chat with that same one with the heart. Did I click the thank link? Thank you so much. Are you? you want me to click the link? What? Wait, let me go out on a, a song. 